Hello and welcome to We Are Finn. With me now from Accenture, I have John Schmidt. Welcome back to We Are Finn. We've spoken before, of course. Of course we have. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Uh, tell me about some of the new products that uh, the business has brought to market in those last 12 months. Well, we're doing a number of new things and some of the things we're demonstrating here around security and threat detection. We've got a demonstration around using artificial intelligence in a conformance world. We've got connected factory, digital factory. We have a digital representation of a factory. We can look at either what's going on and or you know, demonstrate what would happen if we were to reconfigure the factory to deal with maybe some of the supply chain pressures we're seeing today in the industry. And then finally, we also have a blockchain demonstration. And you're using AI for non-conformance detection now as well. Well, we are. We're using AI in a lot of places. And in fact, it, I think it's a groundbreaking technology for helping us deal with how to get more productivity out of our workforce, especially as we look at you know the shortages that we're projecting in STEM candidates. We're also concerned in some areas of the world on how many workforce uh, people we have to even just do manufacturing assembly jobs. So we see AI as a technology that's going to be more of a co-worker, or some people would say co-bot, you know, and helping people get more done faster, sometimes taking on you know, the thinking in the very complex places like supply chain. In this case, what we have is we have a, an application where there's non-conformance cards of what's going on in a final assembly operation. Sometimes there's pre-printed information, sometimes it's handwritten information. And the current process, what was happening is all those cards are kind of collected and then manually they were you know, looked at to verify that the information was correct, that the part number is you know, smudged, it was exactly right, matched the order, matched the date, time, et cetera. And it was a very manually intensive. So what we've done is we've used an AI engine with optical character recognition to be able to take a snapshot of that. And it can be a snapshot from a cell phone. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to get the data in. Mm -hmm. And then there's an AI engine behind, which is not just verifying that that part number order, all that makes sense, but is also using machine learning to improve its ability to read the handwriting that's coming in from the various people coming up with these forms. So it's just, it's a simple application and we're trying to demonstrate in a kind of simple way what really is a very powerful technology. And very quickly, I don't want to, to pressure in any details, of course, but uh, there are some challenges possibly uh, coming up with international trade around the world. How's your company best uh, placed to meet those challenges? Well, I think the challenges in international trade you know, we're talking about most recent events. We have an industry where we have order backlogs that are, are years long. And so in the near term, I don't anticipate there being significant challenges to those order books or that people are depending on those. On the other hand, what I think Accenture does best is we bring our professionals who work around strategy, consulting, technology, digital technologies, and operations to help solve the most pressing problems our clients have whether that's a problem about attracting growth and going into new markets or by attacking cost, improving quality or improving cycle time. So I think we're very well set to help each company in its own way deal with it was coming, whether it's trade related, technology related, or any other complexity in their business. John, thank you very much. Thank you, it's good to see you. Thank you very much, uh, I'll see you again. And for the latest, of course, on everything from the world of aviation and for the uh, latest news on Accenture throughout the year, head to wearefin.com.